once daily by Begron, 75 milligrams for overactive bladder, double blind, 52 week results from an extension study of the international phase three trial. Disclosures and our poster. Vibegron is a novel, highly selective oral beta-3 adrenergic receptor agonist. It comes in a once daily 75 milligram dose, does not inhibit CYP2D6, and it has a rapid onset of efficacy at two weeks demonstrated in the phase three trial. The phase three included 1,518 patients assigned and randomized five to five to four by background placebo tolteridine ER four milligrams. By background significantly improved the primary endpoints of change from baseline and daily micturitions and UUI episodes and all key secondary endpoints versus placebo in this study. Those patients who completed the phase three were eligible for enrollment into the extension trial. These patients received either their active medication from the prior 12 weeks, or if they received placebo, were randomized to Vibegron or Tolteridine. The primary outcome, Vibegron safety and tolerability, were monitored for 52 weeks. Key efficacy changes in daily micturitions, UUI, urgency, and total incontinence episodes were also monitored for 52 weeks. An exploratory outcome, percentage of patients who met responder endpoints of 75% and 100% reduction in UUI episodes were also monitored. A total of 506 of the 587 empowered completers elected to participate, 505 received at least one dose of study medication. The overall completion rate was 85%, similar across the treatment groups, mean age 61 years, 78% women, and 78% had OAB wet. AEs were reported in 62% of patients receiving Vibegron and 54% receiving Tolteridine. Four patients in the Vibegron group and eight patients in the Tolteridine group discontinued study drug due to an AE. The AEs of blood pressure elevation were more common in the Tolteridine group than in the Vibegron group. Of note, one patient died during the study in the Vibegron group due to arteriosclerotic disease, which was deemed not due to study medication. Reduction in micturitions and UUI episodes were seen at 52 weeks. The uh, change versus tolteridine in a post hoc analysis in UUI episodes was shown to be statistically significant. Also, reduction in urgency and total incontinence episodes was seen. And again, the change from baseline and average daily number of incontinence episodes in a post hoc analysis for Vibegron versus Tolteridine was seen to be statistically significant for Vibegron. Responder analysis at 52 weeks for the additional outcome variables were a greater than 75% reduction in UI seen in 61% of Vibegron patients and a 100% reduction in UUI dry on a seven day diary of 41%. Consistent with the phase three placebo controlled and power study, Vibegron demonstrated a favorable long-term safety profile in patients with OAB in the 40 week extension. Vibegron 75 milligrams demonstrated durable efficacy across all OAB endpoints. 41% of patients treated with Vibegron experienced a 100% reduction in UUI episodes at week 52 and were dry on a seven day diary. In a post hoc analysis, Vibegron had significantly greater reductions compared with Tolteridine at week 52 for UUI and total incontinence episodes. Thank you.